hi guys this is vasan in this video we are going to see how to work with spring boot and mysql so let's start one small poc to identify how we are going to configure our database related things in spring boot application so let's start one small development create a spring boot application name it spring mysql change the description here spring with mysql change the package name okay now add the required dependency i am adding here web jpa we need to perform any operation using database so i am adding lombok then add the mysql connector now let's import it okay so let's create the packages first create the package model i'm not writing here any service directly we'll call repository from dav from our controller and one more dao okay so let's first create the model let's create some model like ticket okay add some fields there like id ticket id ticket amount okay and uh, add something like ticket category okay id amount category let's add these three dummy fields let an let's annotate at the rate entity and specify the table name so let's make the table name ticket name equal to ticket make this id as primary key and as i want this id should be auto generate so that's why i use the generator at the rate generated value okay amount and category so <clears throat> now write the dao create one interface ticket dao extends that ticket dao from crowd repository that is an interface provided by spring data to easily integrate with any database implementation so if you mark the first parameter is type parameter so here we should pass our model class name and this serializable should be the id data type of your model primary key so i have integer 
ओके नाउ राइट द कंट्रोलर टिकट कंट्रोलर अनटेड एट द रेट रेस्ट कंट्रोलर ओके इंजेक्ट डायरेक्ट रिपोजिटरी डायरेक्ट डाउ रिपोजिटरी मीन सिंपली वी कैन कॉल इट एज डाउ लेयर ऑल्सो सो इंजेक्ट दैट इन कंट्रोलर लेट्स राइट टू एंड पॉइंट वन इज फॉर पोस्ट मेथड एंड नानो वन इज फॉर गेट मेथड सो फर्स्ट लेट्स सेव सम बुक्स दिस इज टिकट Public. So let's uh, so let's uh, write two method. Book the ticket. Public. Let's return some dummy. Book ticket. Okay. And we we want to save the ticket details in our MySQL database. so pass your let's pass the input as list of ticket we want to save import the statement okay <coughs> so directly call dao dot save pass this tickets list okay and return some dummy value like number of uh, ticket booked this should be the size of our list okay now write one more method who will return us the list of ticket available in our database get tickets <coughs> like this mention the method name and we will directly return from dao dot find all okay type cast it okay now map the url at the rate first one is the post method so i am writing post mapping use and uh, uh, write the url what is that book tickets okay second one will be the get operation so write at the rate get mapping and something like get tickets okay let's add one root url another at the rate request mapping and like something ticket okay okay we write all the logic to save the data in our database but uh, we didn't provide the our database details like what is my driver class name url username password to save business subject to my database that we didn't configured yet so let's configure that but here we no need to write the xml or any java based configuration approach to provide those database related details we can use our properties file normally when we are going to perform spring orm integration the first we need the data source inside data source we need to provide our all four property which is the driver class name url username password then we need to provide the dialect and uh, so sql and uh, like a ddl auto like whether you want to create it for every request or you want to update so these are the properties we need to pass so that i will pass here in my application dot properties instead of write any configuration and all 
so the syntax is very simple spring dot data source dot driver class name okay similar way spring dot data source password similarly username not spring dot data source okay like this for url data source dot url okay and what is that we need to pass the dialect spring dot jpa hyphen at the auto this is you can write the update update here we need to pass our url password and uh, <coughs> we need to pass our dialect so i have the properties file let me copy that the last one is not required let's remove it okay i added my driver class name jdbc url jdbc my usql localhost this local this syntax is my schema name so let's write our some schema like ticket schema okay so we need to create this schema in our my sql database and this is the username password and uh, this is the dialect everything we mentioned in properties so let's create this schema in our mysql database let's op open mysql workbench okay now let's create the database okay then use the database okay create database ticket use ticket okay now let's test <coughs> let's start the our application but before start better to change the port no number let's write 9090 what is the issue okay we added the properties in model class but we didn't write getter setter so as i added lombok let's write the annotation getter setter no argument constructor all argument constructor <coughs> and i'm writing two string okay so now let's start our application okay application start on port 9090 having two endpoint book ticket and get tickets copy these two url let's add some ticket object then we'll fetch so we can test it so let's write http local host 9090 slash ticket let's copy entire one ticket book ticket and that is the post method body the media type is json change here okay let's pass the list of book okay here pass the book object id should be auto generated so we need to pass only two property i think amount and category okay so pass amount like 
amount suppose two zero zero and category let's add the proper name okay category something like right movie similarly we add one more object okay amount is 100 some ticket like assume boss ticket else travels okay let's add these two then we'll see what is the error let's check in code what we did mistake controller i think i forgot to add the request body yep this is the request body which you need to annotate as this is the post method and in my post method i am sending the list of object so you need to add at the rate request body let's restart the server okay now test yes ticket booked to two record we booked two ticket we booked so let's check whether the same object is persist in our database or not <coughs> refresh those then we'll get the schema that is ticket yes let's open the table yes two record persist successfully with auto generated id one and two now let's fetch these two from database so change the method type get and change the url here get tickets okay so it return me two object uh, ticket object which is uh, in my mysql database so in this way we can configure mysql in our spring boot application so it is like very loosely coupled so today i am using mysql tomorrow i want to use oracle simply in properties file you need to change those four properties only the main is the driver class name and url whatever the database you are using for that just change the url class name and these fields in properties file instead of rechange the entire code okay so that's it for this particular video i think you enjoy this video and thanks for watching this video so if you have any doubt or any comment regarding this you can add a comment in youtube video section